Hey guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to start a video series discussing some of the most common questions in one of the most underestimated types of data science interviews, the behavioral interview. Behavioral interviews are all about seeing if you're a good fit for a company's culture. They are non-technical interviews, and because of that, many people often spend less time preparing or even thinking about how they will approach these interviews. That, however, is a big mistake. Companies are placing more and more emphasis on behavioral interviews, and you need to be prepared. That's why in this video series, I'm going to cover some of the most common types of questions that come up in behavioral interviews, and how to think through and plan your answers so that you come off in the best light. So for this first video, I'm starting with a question that almost always starts a behavioral interview, and that is a very vague request to introduce yourself or tell me about yourself. With so little direction, this question can feel unimportant. But it's often the first in-depth impression the interviewer gets of you. It is an excellent opportunity to establish yourself quickly as an impressive and capable candidate. So in this video, I want to give you both a general template for answering this question and go over a simple answer to help you understand how you can make yourself stand out with this very first question. So, because the introduce yourself question is so weak, it can be difficult to know how to start or what to say. You can find yourself either saying nothing that will actually help you land the job, or you can find yourself rambling on, neither of which makes a great impression. That's why having a basic template or plan for answering this is so valuable. You need the structure. Structure keeps you organized, so you sound confident and capable. Now, the template that I'm going to walk you through in this video has three basic steps. Briefly share your background and experience, connect with the company's mission and values, and link to the exact position for which you are interviewing. Let's examine each step in detail. The first step is to briefly share your background and experience. This is where you truly introduce yourself, telling the interviewer who you are. Of course, the introduction should be framed through your work life, outline your past jobs and what skills and experience you gain from them. You may also want to discuss your education here, if it is relevant to the position and your capabilities as a candidate. Note that I include the word briefly when describing this step, because that is what it should be. You just need to take a few sentences to explain what you have done in your career so far and what you gained from those experiences that will be relevant to this position. The biggest thing to remember with this step is to release the temptation to give your life story. Don't waste time dwelling on past experiences that are not relevant to the job for which you are applying. Now, many people would stop after the first step. You have introduced yourself, so why should you go on? Won't that just annoy the interviewer? However, adding a bit more to your answer here can prove very beneficial. If you stop after just sharing your background experience, you will have wasted an opportunity. What you want to do to use this question to your advantage is to introduce yourself in the context of the interview, specifically by connecting with the company's mission and values to demonstrate passion for the company. You can do this by discussing what appeals to you about the job or what you value in your work. Doing this well will involve some research. You may need to be familiar with the company's mission and values to connect them to your answer. While linking to the overall company is important, it is also a good idea to link to the exact position for which you are interviewing. In the previous step, you show your passion and values. In this step, you display your capabilities. Here, you can explain why you are interested in this position, and particularly why you feel you are a good fit for it. Highlight both what you believe you can bring to the role and what you hope to gain. All right, that's a basic outline for introducing yourself. But knowing the outline and knowing how to implement it are two different things. So now I want to walk through a simple answer to give you a better understanding of how this template works in practice. I am currently a data scientist with company where I have been for the last two years. I got into data science almost four years ago, where I started working as a data scientist at company. Where I had a ton of exposure to data analysis, discovering insights from data, modeling data, and presenting important findings to different stakeholders, I consider that experience as a strong foundation for working as a data scientist in the industry. Now, with that experience, I am looking for a job where I can grow more. Your comment piqued my interest because of a blog post that I read on your data science blog. It was about how your company sees data as a representation of the human voices of its customers, and how data scientists at your company can make an impact. 
by thinking proactively about future opportunities. I like the idea of embedding data scientists into different teams rather than data scientists working as individual consultants working reactively. I am very quantitative and I want to make an impact utilizing my skills, so I would love to work for such a data-driven company. I'm also looking for a role at a fast-growing company where I'll be able to work on projects from conception through to launch. I think my experience as a data scientist who works cross-functionally will give me the background to work with different roles. That's a lot of what interests me in this role. I believe it's at the perfect time for me to dive in, especially as it's so closely related to what I am doing now. In this answer, we find all three of the pieces of the template. In the opening paragraph, the candidate explains their background and experience. Note that the answer does not simply list the positions. It emphasizes the skills and experience gained from those positions. The second paragraph then moves into connecting the candidate with the coming. It demonstrates passion by showing a genuine interest in and knowledge of the company's approach and values. The candidate also positions themselves as being a good match with those values. Then the third paragraph gets more specific to the particular role. It shows both awareness of the job's requirements and expectations and explains why the candidate would fulfill those requirements well. Overall, what makes this answer effective is that it thoroughly connects the candidate with the desired company and role. Instead of giving the interviewer information about yourself and then trusting them to connect your qualities with the role, make those connections yourself to ensure that the interviewer can easily visualize you as an effective employee. Now, to summarize the introduce yourself question, it can be unclear just what exactly the interviewer wants to hear when they ask you to introduce yourself. However, instead of seeing this as a weak and therefore unimportant question, you can use it as an opportunity to highlight exactly why you are an excellent candidate. Remember my three-step template to structure your answer and hit the essential points. Start by introducing yourself, which means explaining your background and experience, especially in terms of the skills you gain from it. Then link to the company's values and mission by demonstrating a knowledge of the company and showing that your passions and values align with it. Finally, connect to the exact position by explaining why you are interested in this particular role and why you are a good fit for it. With these three steps, you can ace this icebreaker question and start an interview on the right foot. Alright guys, if you have enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any update. I will be going over more questions that come up here in behavior interviews and data science interviews in general soon, so stay tuned.